everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's Fun Scroll Saw Project video, going to be doing something that a lot of you, my subscribers, have suggested me trying to do over on the Scroll Saw, and that is doing some live scrolling. I was initially going to do this as a live video over on my Instagram feed, but I realized not a lot of people have Instagram, so I'm doing it as a YouTube video. I picked out a small project to do, so hopefully we'll get it all done in this video, and I'll also be giving some tips and tricks for the Scroll Saw. What I did was hopped over on Steve Good's pattern generator that I have downloaded and typed out my name in all caps, Artisan Pirate, and attached it to a piece of three-quarter inch blue pine with clear packing tape. And I've already got all the pilot holes drilled. This will really throw it back to my original scroll saw woodworking video when I started doing this full-time on YouTube years ago when I cut out my name in the same method and I showed you guys the process from start to finish little cringe worthy to go back and watch that video because of how I've developed my skills over the years but just a real cool throwback since everything is prepared and we're ready to begin scrolling let me move the camera over to the scroll saw and we'll get started all right over here at the scroll saw I have a fresh number five ultra reverse scroll saw blade installed and before we begin scrolling I want to double check to make sure that the scroll saw is at a perfect 90 and to do that I will use my 3D printed scroll saw leveling tool and I'll leave a link in the description box below to where you can get this file for free to download and print one if you have a 3D printer looks good that way and perfect 90 that way and I'm also going to file the back side of the brand new scroll saw blade. Sometimes there can be little naked to the human eye burrs or imperfections on the back side. And you can just really quickly have the scroll saw running and smooth out the back side of the blade. But now that we're fully prepared, we're going to begin scrolling again. This is one of my most requested videos or things to do on my channel is do some real-time scrolling to see how, I guess, to see how quick I really am. But we're just going to thread it into one of the pilot holes. Tension our blade. And begin scrolling. Now keep in mind I'm not wearing a dust mask in this video. Here it is off to the side. I will always wear my dust mask while scrolling. I just want to be able to talk to you guys while doing this. I do have the air filtration unit running by wind and I also have a fan blowing to help circulate the air. So what we're going to do is just begin scrolling. I am at a 4.5 on the tension and my speed is between a 5 and 6. And there is our first cut. And one thing I want to point out, always come back and clean up where you begin your cut. I've seen a lot of people, they do not go back and clean it. They'll just come around to where the piece releases and be done with the cut. I always like to go in here and clean it up. You'll see me doing it in the time lapse of the videos, but it happens so quickly. I don't know if anyone sees it. And as most of you see and have noticed and commented, my scroll saw is on an angle. I checked with a digital angle finder, and for me, my scroll saw is at a 16 degree incline or bevel, and that is what works for me. I'm not sitting here hunched over, having to hold my arms up square like I'm trying to play an instrument or something. It's just very comfortable for, for me. I have minimal neck strain and I can sit here for hours scrolling and just enjoy it. I usually have music playing. I don't in this video for copyright reasons. But it's not mounted to anything. This scroll saw is heavy enough to hold itself in place and there's very minimal vibration from it. I love my Delta 20 inch scroll saw.
and I also usually have a fan blowing on me right here off camera during these warmer months. I don't have it on now because I figured the noise would distract from you guys being able to hear me. But it's all about creature comforts and keeping yourself comfortable while enjoying your hobby. And I also have, you can't see it here on camera, but I have a waste bucket down here between my feet at the end of the table in front of the chair I'm sitting in. And with the angle of the table, most of the time, pieces just slide right down and into the bucket. And then I'm able to just dump that away when it gets full. But as you can see, I'm just taking my time with these internal cuts, letting the blade do the work. people ask me why I use just clear packing tape. You see it kind of shining there in the camera to hold down my patterns and I've always done that. I have used um, spray adhesive in the past. It just doesn't work for me the way I want it to and it can sometimes be a mess and a hassle. The tips of your finger get sticky. I just don't like that and I've always used clear packing tape and I stand by it. An old timer told me when I very first started scrolling that it can help lubricate the blade, the oils in the tape, especially if you use some of that thicker packaging tape that's clear, and it can help reduce burn marks. And I stand by what the old timers tell me. Some people have disagreed with that. I'm going to trust the old timers in that one. Again, you see me going back there and cleaning up where I started the initial cut. seen some new beginner scrollers especially if I have someone wanting to learn come over here to the workshop and give scrolling a try on a better scroll saw than say a cheaper 16 inch model they will come to the workshop and they will immediately want to put their hands on either side of the piece and not have their finger close to the blade the blade is very safe it will cut you I've been nicked in the past cutting some detailed stuff and having my fingers real close but I'm not afraid to get my hands close in there to hold something in place especially if it's fragile work don't be afraid to get in there and really hold it down I mean don't 
force it down. As you can see, I'm left-handed and I'm doing most of my steering with my left hand and my right hand is just essentially holding the piece down to the table and providing that steady pressure that I need while the left hand guides it. And once again, this is the Delta 20 inch scroll saw. I got it at, I think I got it on Amazon on a sale and it was delivered to me through Prime in two day shipping and I've been using it ever since. Alright, all of our internal cutting is done. As you can see there, now I will begin to release the name Artisan and Pirate and then we'll wrap up the video. Since everything is outside cuts now, retension the blade and I will double check it to make sure that it is still 90. Awesome, and it is. I think a lot of people get frustrated when they get an entry level scroll saw, say maybe one at Harbor Freight the win one, maybe another off-brand one, and then they have to fumble with tensioning in the back. They have to fumble with like tooled key changes. They have to use either a hex key or a little tool or something. And the keyless blade change just makes everything wonderfully smooth and makes everything work great. And I highly encourage if you want to get into scrolling, find someone that's got an updated and modern scroll saw and that way you can enjoy it as it's meant to be enjoyed right off the get-go. But, um, oh, took it off tension there. Now we are going to begin by releasing the name Artisan, and this is just going to be one steady cut. I'm not going to force the blade into the material, and I'm just going to come around the perimeter here and cut out my name.
we can remove the piece. And with the scroll saw being perfectly square, it should slide right out. And it does. Again, while I like clear packing tape, peel it right off. You see my name? Came out nice and crisp. Really, really cool. Keep in mind that I have been scrolling since I was 14 years old. I will be 34 this coming July, late July. And I've just picked up the speed and the tips and tricks naturally from talking to people, watching videos, reading the magazines, reading the books. And I just dove deep into the hobby and I guess that's how I've picked up my speed throughout the years. Now we're going to cut out the name Pirate and this video will about be done. scroll work is now complete. Really cool. There we have my name, Artisan Pirate. I'm going to take the tension off the scroll saw. And that's something you need to do with every scroll saw. It just prolongs the life of it. Don't leave the blade tension 24-7. And it don't take long to do to take the blade undone and take the tension off of it. 
what I'm going to do now is step off camera and sand this up and we'll finish up the video. And here we have the completed Artisan Pirate name cut out completely in real time over on the scroll saw and it came out amazing. Special shout out is due to Steve Good who designed the program where you can type in your name or whatever name you want and it comes out with the base for scrolling. But really, really cool. It came out great, nice and crisp and that was due in part to the blade we used which was the number 5 Ultra Reverse Blade and all we had to do to sand it at the end, I went over off camera and sanded it with 100 grit sandpaper in the palm sander using small circular motions and it came out great there you see the front and the back of it came out nice and crisp hardly any chip out with the blue pine here but really really cool I hope this satisfies some of the people that have been wanting me and commenting for me to do some real-time scrolling I decided to do just a whole video based on it I didn't do this video for thousands of views or anything I just done it to show you guys my speed at which I cut on the scroll saw and speaking of that keep in mind I've been scrolling since I was 14 years of age. I've got a ton of experience on the scroll saw doing all kinds of projects. Simple projects like this, complicated fretwork, spiral blade projects, you know, pieces that have to slot together, doing the tabs. I have a ton of experience doing that. And if you're really wanting to get into the scroll saw hobby and actually enjoy it, I would highly suggest seeking out a woodworking club or someone that has a nicer, higher end scroll saw like the Delta that I have or the DeWalt one or maybe even an upscale industrial one and try it out on that kind of machine before going out and purchasing a lower end scroll saw. I think a lot of people get frustrated with the key blade changes. You have to keep up with an Allen key or a star key and then you have to worry about tensioning it in the back. That burns a lot of people out very quickly and they get frustrated and go away from what can be a very fulfilling hobby. I know it's given me a lot of enjoyment over the years and it's very therapeutic for me to do it. So just keep that in mind to try it out on a nice scroll saw if you're wanting to get into the hobby to begin with. But really, really cool. Really amazing. I had fun making this and I hope you guys like watching me make this. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. All my social media links will always be linked down in the description box below. Until next time, guys, that's about all for this one. And remember, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.